I like to think I'm above the law in New York because they gave me the key to the city. If I'm going, I don't know, 85 into 55, I'll just show them this key and they let me go. I'm Jerry Harrison Jr. and I'm in the locker room at the DirecTV studio. From superstitions to career changing plays, I'm sharing my locker room confessions. Between DirecTV having the most local MLB games through regional sports networks and this YouTube show, you'll have the ultimate scoop this season. You know what, it's been a while since I've been in a locker room. Let's see what I got in this old bag. Wow. I remember this hat. 2009, game two ALCS, Yankees versus Angels in the Bronx. 13th inning, I led off the inning with a hit, tie ball game, and I scored the winning run to put us up two games to none against the the Angels, and uh, we go on later to win the World Series, so this, this hat means something special to me. See all this white filter here? This is actually shaving cream. What they did, if somebody was the hero of the ball game, uh, they're getting interviewed, they get a pie in the face. It wasn't a pie, it was actually shaving cream. So I got shaving cream on my face and on this hat, and you can see I've never washed it. I kept it as is, so it's been some years, 2009. I just think it's better not washing it because I want to remember that moment. If I wash all this stuff off, uh, it, it, it doesn't have any special meaning. But this shaving cream here, it has stayed here on this hat for what? Doing the math, 14 years. It's something that my, my kids will have when I'm gone, my grandkids will have. So I think something that, that they will cherish and remember. All right, let's see. You know what? I'm going a little old school here. This is a Indianapolis Clowns jersey. I got this at the Negro League Museum in Kansas City. My grandfather. Uh, he was the first black player to play with the Chicago White Sox. Before that, uh, he played the Negro Leagues. He was a Negro League Triple Crown winner, meaning he led the whole league in the Negro Leagues in batting average, RBIs, uh, and home runs. When I was in the Negro League Museum, I saw this clown's jersey, and I said, you know what? My grandfather won the Triple Crown in this clown's jersey, so uh, I had to uh, purchase it. The one thing about the history of our family and what we have done collectively in the game of baseball, it goes back to my grandfather. You know, my grandfather had to drop out of school in eighth grade to go work at the steel mill because his dad got sick. And during that time, he would play uh, on their local baseball team, the steel mill. And he got discovered playing just, just in a lot by a Negro League team. That's how he got his start than they were in the 50s. We still have some ways to go. It's not lost on me that my grandfather didn't have that, the opportunity that I had. Even though it's not a, a Hall of Fame legacy, it's, it's our legacy and we're very proud of it. Well, these cleats, these are my last cleats that I wore in the big league. These are size 10, I'm a size 11 on normal shoes. I got in the habit of having my toes basically smushed at the end. I wanted to be like my father, I wanted to be like my grandfather, so when I was eight, nine, 10 years old, I would steal their cleats. And they were so big on my little feet back then, I would put three, four, five socks on, so I always would tap my toes to make sure my feet would be at the very end. Now I'd wear two. When I was playing, I would wear two. I would wear two socks when I played. I just wanted that snug feeling. I want to talk about my mom. You know, my mom, the backbone of our family, always there taking us when my dad was playing uh, to Little League games. Uh, I got a chance to represent uh, where she was from uh, in Mexico. She's from Sonora. And I played for the Team Mexico WBC. Uh, it's kind of like the Olympics for baseball. It's an incredible event. Uh, I had so much fun playing. My brother Scott also was my teammate, so it was the first time I got a chance to play with him. I take tremendous pride of being black and Mexican. I, I call it Blacksican. You know, we're, we're proud people. The smile on my mom's face the whole time, uh, she still talks about it to this day. This is what I was able to receive in 2009. We won the World Series, New York Yankees. World Series ring. It is a piece of jewelry, but I think of the memories, the journey that we had. The guys that were in that clubhouse, it, it was amazing. And to go along with this World Series ring, I like to think I'm above the law in New York because they gave me the key to the city. If I'm going, I don't know, 85 into 55, I'll just show them this key and they let me go. Adding MLB Extra Innings on DirecTV is a great way to catch up with my old teams. Even if you're not in their area, you get almost 90 out-of-market games per week. 
And by adding MLB Extra Innings, I'm able to watch multiple games at once on one screen. As you see, the locker room has been my second home, and I could give my confessions here at the DirecTV studio all day. But I want to hear from you. What would you keep in your locker? Let me know in the comments below.